Hey, what's up guys? We're going to show you today how to use the trace feature using your camera on your Muse and RE3 software on your laser. So here we go. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure that our laser head is over top of our material and in focus again and come over and capture our workspace. So again, we're just going to press the camera workspace button there. We're going to get a quick reminder to make sure the laser head is over top of our material and in focus. We're just going to press continue down here. So once we press continue, again, what's going to happen is nine photos are going to be taken of the laser bed and stitch together seamlessly. You won't even have to do anything, it'll just happen in the background. Now, best practices when using the trace feature is you wanna use a high contrast material. So if you're trying to draw on a piece of wood or something, I would put masking tape down first so you have a good contrast. And what type of pen to use? I would use a very sharp Sharpie or black pen, but definitely use black on a white surface or a tape surface so you have a good contrast so you have the best tracing uh, results possible. Say we did black Sharpie on white cardstock. So as you can see in the laser bed here, uh, we have my dog's name, Lola, and a few shapes down at the bottom. Now, in order to capture that, all you have to do is come up here and press the capture background uh, item here, and then draw a box over it with the uh, tool that pops up. Now what's going to happen here is it's going to take a few seconds to analyze the box that you drew and the contents inside. Now as you can see, it only took the inside of the box. Now we're going to zoom in here just a little bit so we can see, but it's so accurate that it picked up the inside and outside lines of the Sharpie. It picks up the fidelity of the edge of the lines, so much so that actually you can see all the little places where the line actually bled into the paper a little bit. Now what that's going to give you is two layers over here on the side. It's going to give you a um, uh, bitmap layer, which is the uh, trace layer, and I'll hide the other layer real quick. Now, this layer you could move around and trace again. You could do, oops, just move that back to where it was. Um, now, that can be uh, moved back around, um, uh, used again, uses a uh, separate file if you wanted to take it uh, someplace else. Uh, you can also uh, select whether or not you want to um, take the inside or outside only of these vectored lines. And again, using the trace feature on your Muse Hobby Laser using RE3 is that simple. Hope this video helped. Look for our other videos for more info on how to use RE3.